So we have 3D printers and we have satellites, but what if I told you that this next generation satellite will 3D print itself in space? And Made in Space is doing exactly that. Called Arcanaut 1, the satellite could be a game changer in how we design future spacecraft. Arcanaut 1 represents a technology development which has never been done before. No one has printed in space, no one has done robotic assembly, and no one has done the sort of in situ verification that we are planning to do. And Made in Space seems to be the right company to do it. They're no stranger to the world of in-space manufacturing, which involves the challenge of printing and microgravity. But since 2014, they've sent multiple 3D printers to the ISS, where astronauts have printed more than 200 parts on board. Now, the MIS team hopes to push the boundaries even further with Arcanaut 1, and they have NASA's full support as the project is under NASA's Tipping Point Project. The program granted MIS roughly $75 million and a new mission name, On-Orbit Servicing, Assembly, and Manufacturing, or OSAM-2. But since that's a mouthful, we'll be sticking to Arcanaut 1. The company's previous 3D printers have been operating within the safe confines of the ISS, but with Arcanaut 1, they'll have to confront the extremes of space. The main two subsystems of the Arcanaut uh, satellite are going to be a additive manufacturing extended structure machine, that builds very long booms, and then also a robotic arm that then assembles things on the spacecraft. So to help prepare the hardware for the harsh environment of space, the team tested out the 3D printer's capabilities. It printed out a variety of structures in a special Northrop Grumman facility that mimicked the conditions of space. The robotic arms were also tested for their assembly and manufacturing duties, again, in a simulated space environment. And so far, everything seems to be working out. But how exactly will this all operate once it's in orbit? Well, when Arcanaut 1 launches, it will head into low Earth orbit, and that is where the real work begins. It will start by 3D printing two 10 meter long beams on either side of the spacecraft, assisted by the robotic arm and in situ verification technology on board. It's at this point where the solar panels will start to unfurl so they can help generate power. And these huge panels will reportedly produce up to five times more power than regular solar panels. The goal for the satellite is to demonstrate in space robotic manufacturing and assembly on an operational mission. In the future, this small satellite could build even more complex structures like reflectors, space telescopes, and antennae, just to name a few. Satellites today have a structure which is designed to survive the first 10 minutes of the mission, right? A 15-year mission needs to have a structure that can survive launch and ascent of the satellite. That is a very big, very heavy structure. What Arcanaut 1 allows us to do is fabricate this entire satellite on orbit. That's just it. Arcanaut 1 is just a test, but if it's successful, it could completely change the way we build satellites in space. I mean, imagine what that type of technology could do for future lunar habitats like NASA's Gateway Outpost or conceptual technology that has never been feasible to fly to space, like star shades or space interferometers. And having on-orbit 3D printing capabilities lessens the need for heavy payloads and allows astronauts to print their own tools because as we venture out beyond low Earth orbit, there will be a lot of things that we'll need along for the trip. As we explore the solar system, we go further and further away. That requires the technologies that Made in Space is working on to enable those long distance missions. Sure, you could wait for a resupply mission if you're on Mars, but it makes much more sense just to, just to print up a wrench that you need. And on top of that, Arcanaut 1 could also be capable of repairing and building upon existing structures, which could help reduce the need for astronaut spacewalks, which could be dangerous. So let's just say Arcanaut 1 is gonna have its hands full once it launches. But we still have a while to go before we see the satellite take to the skies. Right now, Arcanaut 1 is expected to launch in early 2023. And when it does, it could reshape how we build and live in space. Uh, for the first time, we have a dedicated satellite mission to be building very large things in space. Uh, when we first set out uh, to start this company, we wanted to help humanity live and work in space. And one thing you need to do eventually is to build very large things for people to live in. And this is the first step along the way. 
There's no doubt that traveling into space is a huge mental and physical challenge. It's not like you and I could just hop on board the next space mission. But what would happen if it did? Well, that's exactly what plays out in Nickelodeon's upcoming series, The Astronauts, where a group of totally unprepared kids accidentally launch themselves into space. To join this nail-biting but exciting adventure, tune into Nickelodeon to catch The Astronauts. You don't want to miss it. For more rocket launches, check out our Countdown to Launch series here. If there are any other launches that you want to see us cover, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Seeker, and thanks for watching.